Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today's video, we are going to talk about the 2024 predictions for the world, what to expect, how you can get ahead of the time, what to expect and what you want to move forward with, all that good stuff. And if you enjoy, make sure to give it a thumbs up, click subscribe and send this video to a friend as I feel it will be really helpful. So I essentially have been a psychic for many years and I receive a lot of messages from spirit, from, um, the quantum field, shall we say. So I got in a meditative state and I wrote down a lot of predictions and the main uh, word that kept coming through for me was the word truth. That 2024 is all about the year of truth and revealing things. So I'm gonna start with the very beginning and what I was shown and then I'm gonna move forward. But before I do, I really wanna express timelines. So there is not like one destiny that is set in stone that is going to happen in the regard that there are infinite timelines that we as a collective can surf down, that we can go down. What is a timeline? It's a lifeline, it's an experience. And so with each person on earth and our power in this web of creation, I made a video on the web of creation, I'll link down below if you're confused what this means. Each one of us is so sovereign and powerful that we have a massive role to play in the collective. So taking responsibility for our energy, for our thoughts, for our beliefs, for our joy, for expansion, for expression, when we need rest, all of those choices that we make on an individual level affects the collective. And how much we work on ourselves is going to impact the collective because we are all one giant aura. So if you think of like the world as one energetic field and then we have all our own little fields, the mass scale is that we're all connected in one large field and so we all impact the field. That is why so much shadow is coming to the light right now in the world and it may seem like it's going really crazy and chaotic because on some element, people are starting to wake up to the light within them that is casting the light on the shadow that was always there and is now just being revealed. So when it is truth, I was hearing the words and I wrote it down that anything that is not of your truth must go. So if there are relationships that you're in, friendships, uh, people in your life that just don't feel in resonance with your true frequency, your core frequency of who you are, they will naturally go. It's not about you having to like cut people out. It's more of an understanding that the more you energetically raise, they're not really on your timeline. They will actually have to fall off. It's like when the trees grow in autumn, the leaves will fall off. You know what I mean? Like the leaves aren't just gonna stay on because you're clinging on, they will leave regardless. So it was showing me this like energy of like something shaking and everything that is not in its uh, shaking vibration. Like, you know, when you're like twerking or dancing or like shaking your hips and like the joy that comes from that. It's like anything that is not in that frequency will literally fall off. You know what I mean? So anything that is not of your resonance will fall off. What does this mean for you in 2024? Really getting crystal clear and what your intentions are. Do you wanna have more joy, expansion, expression, pleasure, uh, abundance, wealth? Whatever it is, it's really getting truth with what you want to claim. Because there's not one truth in all of us. We are multidimensional, we have many different facets. To think like our truth is just like this pure being or our truth is just joy is diminishing every other experience we can experience. So for truth, for me, is like freedom, it's expansion, it's uh, communication, expression, allowing and knowing my core values as my truth and allowing that to submerge externally, allowing that to be expressed externally. So anything that is not of your resonance must go. If that's jobs, if that's relationships, I just keep hearing the word truth is going to be huge for 2024. And one thing I really wanna clarify as well, since studying hypnotherapy and really going into past lives and regressions and family members, like soul groups, all this stuff, every soul is on their own unique journey. So to put a, a vibration on every human that they're all gonna go through this is kind of bananas because it's like um, astrology. Like we all have our own unique blueprints, our own unique medicine. So really just understanding that your truth may be different to somebody else's and it may be polarizing to someone else again because we come here for duality, not all to be this one harmonized perfect being. So that's what came through. Another thing that came through really strongly was Hollywood. <laughs> and that Hollywood, I'm gonna write that down. Hollywood is going to be <laughs> a lot is going to come to the surface. That's what I was told. I literally was writing this down. I was like, interesting. So what I heard was that a lot of people are going to start waking up to agendas behind movies. You may know this in like The Simpsons or, um, and it's literally in the contracts. If you do your research, there's a great movie called outofshadows.org. I'll link it down below. It's a movie and it's incredible. Um, and it was really showing us that there is pre-programming in programs and mo And I laugh because at the higher level, I find this all hilarious. I'm like, this is so silly. But 
movies, Hollywood movies have a lot of programming in it to subscribe us, to prepare us for what the agendas want to happen. So you can see a lot of Hollywood movies, a lot of programming actually go down in history of actually happening in our world. And so we're going to start to notice that a lot more movies have um, subliminal programming and agendas to subscribe us, to prepare for something that they want us to subscribe to, but we don't have to. Um, and that's the kind of crazy thing about humans I wrote down here is the power is in the mind. Now, on like a very spiritual level, I don't believe the mind is as powerful as we perceive it to be. I think there are other parts of our bodies, other chakras, um, other energies in our body that are more powerful, but the mind on a collective scale is the most powerful way to keep people in a state of fear, in a, a state of paralysis. And so if we can be subscribed that through music or through movies or through um, programming, TV ads, the news, it's subscribing our mind to stay in a very low frequency of fear, of paralysis. And so we can't really take any action from a sh uh, an energy of power or, f or faith. So it was showing me that the collective's power is in your mind and what you are ingesting. And so it was right, I wrote down that like things are gonna start getting faster and the shadow is gonna rise. So things will start to look like they are getting crazier and then also more peaceful, depending on what timeline you choose. So in regards to like Instagram, TikTok, these um, online worlds are gonna continue to get faster and faster. And what I was shown was people being very conscious of the consumption they are create like ingesting in their life, but uh, in like movies, TV programs, like whatever they're consuming, understand that your mind is your power. And it's really important to know that the stuff you're ingesting right now is going to have a very big impact in your field, in your life. Because if you think of like, okay, let's just say this is me, like this is my energetic field. And if I, whatever I let in to my field, is what I experience in my mind. So if you can really be conscious of what you're consuming and actually choose and very consciously se select what you're wanting to subscribe to is going to help you immensely in manifesting your vision, your dreams, your purpose, a relationship, whatever it is, as long as you're very selective of that. And another thing that came through was, um, again, coming back to the truth of the throat. The throat chakra I was shown was going to be the biggest um, chakra in, next year and what i mean by this is you speaking your truth speaking your truth speaking your communication your desires your needs and also not biting your tongue when you feel like you want to stand up for something it is now about raising your voice because there is going to be like a suppression of voice and it's really important that we know that our voice is of power and that we honor our voice and our truth instead of trying to please everybody around us, um, we're actually following the beat of our own drum. Because on a very subconscious level, you're actually going to inspire people who are afraid to step up into their power. So again, we're leaving the guru age of everyone teaching you what you're having to do and everyone's being taught how to self-lead themselves and be an inspiration for others through integrated leadership, integrated in their being. Now, I know these words are quite complicated maybe to process, but the main purpose of what I'm trying to share is you are becoming your own master. It is, a, it is the end of um, really allowing other people to tell you what you need and really going within and asking yourself what you need. What is your truth? That is what you're being asked. And then to make life decisions on that. Now, another thing that will be coming through is the music industry. A lot more, I was even hearing a lot more Hollywood celebrities and actresses and actors. <laughs> the word exposed is what comes to mind. Like there's going to be a lot of um, things that they may have done that was kept under the shadows it's gonna be shown next year. That's just something I was hearing. Um, another thing is people are going to start realizing that money means absolutely nothing if your health isn't intact. And when I say health, as we know, like the water filled with fluoride, we look at the food industry, it's very uh, distorted. We look at like how much we're on screens right now and how much it's exhausting us, how much uh, sexual shame is really depleting our energy fields. Um, for women being overburned, overworked, losing their periods. Um, we're noticing now that you, there may be an awareness shift where you're realizing your health is your wealth and you cannot create financial stability or abundance unless your health is intact. Your sleep patterns are right. You're drinking enough water. You're eating well. You're moving. It's going to be a year of health because, again, we're going back to our truth. And truth doesn't mean like, yes, it can be truth of like, I love to wear the color purple. Like, that's my truth. But what I mean by truth is it's going back to our natural core of who we are as humans. We as humans are very animalistic beings. We're very uh, organic. We are nature. And so truth is realizing we are part of nature. The foods that we're eating, are they truth, right? So everything is about us stepping back deeper into our integral nature, into our organic nature of some form. Now, it was showing me that the shadow is going to rise 
So again, things are going to look like they're getting crazier because, well, they are because if, if like if we look at like the earth and light is influxing on it, I gave this analogy in another video, but it's like um, if you like, okay, spilt a milkshake in the corner of your room and you turn off the lights and you're like, I'm not gonna look at that. It's fine, it's not there. But then it's gonna start rotting and then it's gonna smell and then it's gonna make the whole room smell. And until you turn that light on and look at it, it's gonna stay in the shadows, but it's still gonna affect you. Like if you think of the smell, it's like rotting in the corner, maybe there's bugs. It's like, that's the purpose that the shadow is going to come up, but it was always there. The shadow was always there within every person. It's just that we haven't had a safe container to express it. And so consciousness must express itself. So energy will be expressed. So I'm not gonna paint this picture that it's gonna be like lalas and rainbows, but what I do wanna give you like this source of inspiration is that you hold the power within you to basically be the embodiment of what you want to see in the world, to be the power source, to be your own truth, to stand in your power. It's not to be afraid of the way the world's going, but really honor the power that you hold in the web of creation. And the mantra I wrote down here, now I'm very aware of the word God for some people, it can be triggering. Um, I know for myself, it wasn't very, very, for a very long time. So if it's source, universe, higher self, and um, the heart, whatever it is, um, the, the mantra I heard was let go and let God. Um, and what I mean by this is for a lot of people, not everyone, when you're going through um, a spiritual awakening of some form, Things that are not of your highest frequency have to leave, have to go. And sometimes the only thing we can do is surrender because maybe we've been trying to control our whole life and it's been serving us up to a certain point, but now we're kind of exhausted and we're like, I want to uh, be in a mission higher than myself. I want a higher power to take over me. This is why I'm offering Wealth Codes, which is a program I'm launching on February 4th. It's a group coaching program to help you step into your power really start activating your power so you can live life self-led, start living in your truth and creating a purpose that fulfills you and allowing that higher energy to move through you so that you can fulfill a purpose from passion rather than feeling like you're just obligated to do it. So it's a program of light workers all over the world who are wanting to step into their power next year and really create a magical, magnificent, wealthy life for themselves. So if you wanna check that out, I'll link it down below and you can um, have a look at that. But that was kind of the purpose of it. It's like, let go and let God. And God can also be earth for you. Like letting earth lead you, letting the vibration of earth lead you, what feels right, what feels expansive, what feels harmonizing. Um, that's what's gonna come true, okay? Um, another thing I wanted to write down is that it's really about understanding that we create our reality at a very core level. Now, there are things externally that will just happen the way the world is, but that is because on some collective scale, we're all individually creating our reality. So I really want this not to be a subscribing of like any fear, but more so allowing you to realize that the power is within you and you get to choose the timeline, the lifeline, the people you want to communicate with, the, the work you want to create. You get to choose all of this next year. Okay, another thing I'm also hearing for a lot of people is gonna be sexual healing. I actually feel, um, this is just kind of coming through now is like this realization of people realizing that this whole element of humanity has been so kept in the shadows there's been no education on it like even if you think of school we're just told i remember in like i was in csp class and they were like okay this is how you don't get pregnant and this is how you do get pregnant and that was it that was all we were told all we were told and so what i think people are going to start realizing they're going to be seeking out more um pleasure-based practices more expanded practices a lot more like centers, retreats, breathwork facilities, um, things that are going to allow people to have somatic healing. So I'm gonna write that down. So somatic is gonna be quite a boomer. <laughs> Did I just say boomer? That was so funny. Um, somatic healing is gonna be 2024. I'm predicting that it's gonna be some form of like one of the biggest healing modalities. Um, rather than this whole mental based world that we're all living in. But again, I really want to subscribe again to share with you that every soul is on their own unique individual path. This is just kind of like a template on the energy forecast that you can follow and understand what is backing you is when you follow your truth, you will be rewarded with the 5D energy, the new earth energy. You will be rewarded. The more you follow, I'm hearing the unseen. The more you start to follow what you cannot physically see or what doesn't even physically make sense. Right. So again, when we think of truth, we're like, well, I feel called to do this, but it makes no logical sense. The more you follow that inner compass, that inner light, the, the more beauty will happen because at a higher level, we all have um, higher guidance within us. So if you think of like um, ourselves, 
and I wouldn't even say higher, but like there is an expanded energy like all around us and within us. But when we only live in the constraint of our mind and we limit ourselves, that's why I was saying really conscious of the, the information you're consuming, you're really allowing yourself to tap in, oh, look at this, to source to the universe, to the highest divine intelligence that literally is what created you, is what uh, allowed you to click onto this video, what created this phone, that created our heartbeats, that created nature. The divine intelligence is the glue that holds everything together. So the more we can connect to that energy and allow it to really expand our field, expand our awareness, expand our horizon, the possibilities are infinite. There, the, there's an infinite potential of possibilities that you can go down and create. And so it's really about trusting the unseen and what feels right, what feels um, in highest alignment with your truth and for the highest good of all. Okay, so that is kind of some predictions for 2024. It really is a year of truth, finding your truth, honoring your truth, stepping into your power, and really not subscribing to a lot of like fear knowledge because it's really interesting i've done so many psychic readings for people and one of the biggest things that comes through for a lot of people's guides is to stop watching so many conspiracy theories because on some level you're you're subscribing to that paradigm and i thought that was really fascinating because that kept coming through for people so i just wanted to add that too um is like how much you want to be aware of what's going on in the world there's another element of like you can observe it but don't feed into it your energy is so bloody precious. Your energy is so powerful. You are part of web of creation and you are here to be sovereign and in your power and in the power that you know your thoughts are powerful, your feelings are powerful, your beliefs are powerful, your paradigm is powerful. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I do want to say I hope you have a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful year wherever you are. Stand in your power, stand in your light, shine your brightness and um, I'm just being shown popcorn now. Sit back and enjoy the movie of life because it is a precious world. And how much we're all saying this stuff as well. Enjoy your life. Enjoy the pleasures. That is the goal for this. This is more of a collective scale of what will be happening. Um, these are my projection, projections. Projections. 